I think that role models are critical because a lot of the time when you're a young person and you're on your journey and you're trying to figure out who you are, you first start by um, imitating someone else. I know in my, in my own life, um, role models have been honestly I imperative to my, my growth as a human being. Um, I think about the first role models that I've ever had and honestly, they continue to be my biggest role models, my parents, they, um, it sounds like so cliche to say my parents, but like, it really is true for me. Um, they have been so steadfast and unwavering in their beliefs their entire lives, regardless how much that has cost them. My mom is a really strong woman who grew up in a very different era and she was always my role model and I could always, you know, she worked and, you know, had all the time for everyone. And she didn't make it look easy because <laughs> it's not. Um, but she was never afraid to like stand up for what was right. She always had my back. And, um, and she's just kind of a badass. Like she, my mom is just kind of a badass. Like she's just this really powerful feminist. So having a role model that's able to share things that are not easy to talk about or shows that their life isn't perfect because nobody's life is perfect, we're all going through something, is really amazing. And I find that even though it's so hard to speak your truth and to be honest about what you're going through, if you're going through a hard time, which I believe everybody has gone through a hard time and there probably are more people than not that are battling something, you're going to find out that a lot more people than you realize can relate to you and then you can get the help that you need because maybe your friend is dealing with it at the same time or somebody that you know and you can both help each other out. I respect my role models because of their values that they have and their morals and what they stand for in the world and their purpose and therefore it kind of just gives me this like support, it gives me something to always aspire to um, but not in an unrelatable way, in a super relatable way like I love what she's doing, I love what she stands for, she inspires me, lifts me up, she empowers me, it's like she's holding my hand and it's someone who is accepting of you and is not judging you and who is allowing you and giving you permission to be you. Having role models is extremely important. I don't feel like I have one specific role model that I follow. The more women or men that I meet and that there's a quality that sticks out in them that I'm like, I, I want to mimic that. That is so beautiful and so awesome. I hold on to that. So I feel like Pretty much every amazing person that I've met, which is a lot of amazing people, I can see them as a role model in my life because there's been such an incredible quality that they've, they have that I never even thought of. So it's so important to model yourself after positive things that you come across, no matter where it's from. When we express our stories as women uh, and, we, and we tell the stories of our journey, we give the next generation a starting point and a template uh, when they're looking to find themselves. And then of course we want them to bust that template wide open and make it bigger and more amazing than we ever could. But every role model is a starting point for another young woman. And that's why it's critical for us to share our stories, be visible um, and be in their lives however we can. I want to be someone that people look at as a friend. I want to be friends with women. I didn't have anyone like that to look up to when I was younger. And so I really want to, to join this amazing force of women now who are being a relatable voice, a voice that's on your side rather than shaming you into becoming some sort of unrealistic ideal. You don't have a choice um, if people are looking up to you or not. Um, so I think that I've sort of been, and we all, the girls here, have been given um, this thing in life where people are looking up to us and I, I want to make the conscious decision to um, acknowledge that and to take that on in a way where I accept it rather than reject it. I always say that I try to be the role model I didn't have when I needed it because I know when I was at my darkest point all I needed was an authentic, genuine person who would overcome struggle to vulnerably share that with me and, and really prove to me that it gets better, not just say those words.